My name is Cheryl, and this is Tracy Heck, and we are here from Access, and we are here today with Jesse from Kill Switch Engage. And we are at Dirt Fest 2016. And you guys have headlined here before, so. Yeah, fun times. Dirt Fest is always fun and dirty. I love it. But a little, little, little different this year, didn't you? Look yeah, I kind of like the, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the old spot a little better, but yeah. a parking lot's fun too. Yeah. <laughs> Birch, Birch Run was actually a really beautiful setting. Yeah, I like that place. Setting, but I, I think they sold it. Uh, or using like something it. Something as a car lot on there or something. Yeah. Like that. We're glad Dirt Fest is still rocking. That's awesome. Now, for you guys, what can we kind of expect from the show tonight? Um, a lot of buffoonery from Adam, no doubt, for sure. Uh, a little bit of crying. Uh, some panic attacks, some anxiety attacks. And some metal mixed in there somewhere, most likely. So just a normal. Normal, yeah. No, normal. <laughs> normal show for exactly. you guys. <laughs> Buffoonery as usual. <laughs> but I know you guys have been touring behind the album for a little bit now. So yeah, yeah, we're out with Wolby right now. Dude, for two months. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, then we're taking off to Europe, the UK with Wolf and Valentine, hitting Australia. The list goes on. Yeah, it's a um, it's a wonderful life to live. Tiring but wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw like Volby last night, but you guys weren't on that date. Yeah, yeah, days, but yeah, a couple days, which is nice yeah. to have headline dates in between. Yeah. And playing for our fans, because Volby fans, like, they're great. Some people have no idea who we yeah. are. So it's playing for the new people, which is good, which is good. But it's nice to take a break and be around our people, for sure. Yeah. And do you kind of moving forward for the rest of the year, what is the plan? Are you guys going to, after tour, touring? Tour, yeah. Tour, yeah. Um, we're almost obviously talk about a new record. We don't want another three years to go yeah. by with a new record, but um, I think we're just, our eyes are set on the road right now. I'm yeah, sure we'll come up with something sooner or later. And I've got side projects. Adam's got a side project coming out um, called Serpentine or Serpentine Dominion, which is with George from Corpse Grinder, Shannon from Black Dog. Got New Times of Grace on the horizon as well. So, cool stuff on the way. And I know, like with the touring, you guys are kind of jumping around. I know you guys got some dates at the bench, some full. Yeah, which is some awesome. Some dates at the nerd. I mean, so yeah. you guys are kind of moving around. Yeah, Exodus so playing a couple nice. shows yeah. at Exodus, which is rad. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's just nice to switch it up yeah. and play with uh, our pals all over the place. And, and you get those different crowds that come oh, on. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks like shit from like, all metalheads uniting. It's great. Um, for you, what are you most excited to do out here awesome. today? Are you going to go see some of the other shows? Yeah. Very dead. I haven't seen very dead yeah. since. Uh, Anyway, I love those dudes. I'm my little brothers when I go to see them. Oh, Avery, anytime Avery plays, I'm happy. Yeah. I love those dudes. And Walsh of Jericho. I haven't seen Walsh of Jericho. That's, yeah, we're actually going to go out there and check yeah, them out. Yeah, she's a yeah. badass. Yeah. I love that. Man. And then just for next year, um, just more touring. Yeah, yeah we kick that. it off in Australia, then we're doing a US headline run, and then. We've gotten offers from all over the place. We're just figuring out where we're going to go and how far we're willing to go. There's talks about Southeast Asia. There's talks of wow, the, uh, nice. Japan again, which I'd love to get back to Japan. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And for you, for I mean, you, obviously you were away from the band for a while, and now you've been back for quite a bit now. Yeah, but four years now. What, what do you think keeps this band going? Love. We love each other, man. We're like a 1950s dysfunctional marriage. <laughs> we uh, argue and we hate each other, but we totally love each other too. And uh, I keep the home spick and span and make meals and put on my smile. It, it seems to work. No, but all seriousness is I wear family. I think yeah. that's why it works. Band and crew, like all of us together. There's no like hierarchy with us. You know, we don't make our crew have a separate room. We're all together. We hang out together. Yeah. We have a lot of fun on our days off. Just doing regular stuff, you know, cookouts. Going to the movies, like we do all that dorky stuff together. I think that's why it works. Is there, is there one more goal out there that you guys haven't hit? Like, um, opening up for Metallica maybe someday would be nice. <laughs> but we'll see, man. I don't know. For me, like, I just love what we're doing. I want to do it as long as we can. So that would be your dream tour if you could go I think out so, with yeah. anybody? It would be Metallica. Because so, without them, we wouldn't do what we do for sure. I mean, I grew up listening to early Metallica. I mean, that stuff is still stands the test of time. Some of the best metal ever made. You know, from Justice for All was my first sort of uh, introduction into thrash, and from that point on, you know, got me into all kinds of DRI and Anthrax and Testament and all that Bay Area stuff. I still love it to this day. So, 
Jesse, if you were not a musician, what would you be doing? Chef. You'd be a chef, Hands really? Out. Yeah. Amazing. Chef. Or I'd have my own food truck, or I'd be uh, maybe a distiller or a, a winemaker, or something to do with food and, and drinking. It's my passion. I love cooking that. Coffee. You'd have a show on Food Network. I could, there you I go. Guess. <laughs> How good of a host I'd be, but I love to cook. I love serving people and seeing their reaction when they eat food. It's almost That's similar awesome. to the way I feel with music. It's a performance. You, know, you see the reaction of a crowd when you're performing. And, you know, the kind of chef I'd want to be if I had, did have a place. It'd be an open kitchen where I could actually see the people and they could see me performing. But yeah, kitchen people, you know, chefs, line cooks, bartenders. Musicians, comedians, we're all kind of the same milk. We yeah. all that's jive. so cool. Maybe you could do that as a second, a second career. I will see if I'm, if I can be so lucky. Yeah. But do you get a chance to cook one for being out the road? I do. I'll tell you what, we uh, we uh, have a trailer specifically for other stuff. Like we bring our bikes out. And okay. I have a grill, and uh, we're actually going to be doing this thing called the Tiki Bar on this tour, where we set up a little tiki bar in the parking lot, oh, play so reggae nice. music, and make drinks out of the show. So we're slowly buying equipment to like make that happen. That's you really cool. Man, you know, it is. Yeah, here. I was gonna say you might, a lot of people don't, and I think that is why it makes touring so early. Yeah, I mean it can drive you crazy in a bad way. Yeah. But we're crazy in a good way, I think. So. Well, awesome. And so we're up here at Dirt Fest. You guys are playing later tonight. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a party. Can't wait. Awesome. 2016, and this is Jesse from Kill Switch Engage. Thank you. All right.